ladies and gentlemen, you know, it is amazing how everybody always have this expectation for when things go down, well, let's go get the black people and get them to speak up. You can't do those things anymore. You can't do those things anymore. And causes from the past, recent past, should plainly tell you, you can no longer mistreat us. And then come back with this, we need to get behind you on everything. It's never going to happen again. Those days have long passed. We are hip to your behind. We are not taking up your causes just to continue to be treated like crap. So it's not just TikTok, but all social media platforms suppress black videos and views. You all do it across the board and TikTok is no exception. They have been doing it the entire time they've been around. So now that all this stuff is going down, yeah, you know, they want everybody to get behind them and guess who they want the most? Yours truly ain't happening. Sorry. So black creators played a pivotal role in getting TikTok to be a behemoth. It is today. And that is the truth. Even YouTube, we've played a big role in blowing this up. But what do we get? We get suppressed, hidden. So yet we've had to fight for years for acceptance and recognition of our contributions. White people have made millions from even stealing dances. Remember the black dancers and creators over on TikTok had to boycott because they would come out with a dance. A white person would do the same dance on their video. They would get millions of views and the black creators of the dance would get hardly nothing. And that went on TikTok. It went on for years over on TikTok, for years. So <clears throat> that, you know, the boycott started in 2021. That's when they start boycotting because of all the things they were doing on video was being stolen. And of course, there was an issue with growing channels if you were a black TikTok creator. That's why they came up with the black girl follow train so they could find each other and follow each other and grow on TikTok. And that did help a lot of black women grow their channels and grow their brands if they had businesses. And that was the only way they could do it. If they had to rely on TikTok themselves, it would never have happened. See, we got to always do these extra measures in order to be seen. Where white creators can come on there and you don't even have to barely lift a finger and you'll get all kinds of recognition and views. And the same thing happens here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of these platforms. They all, that's one thing you all got in common. You work hard to suppress us. So given the possibility that TikTok will be banned in the U.S., should Black people even care? Actually, there are a lot on here saying, well, let it just go. They're not going to fight for it because you're not even getting treated fairly. So many are saying, no, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to speak up. They're not going to do nothing. Now that the House approved legislation that would ban TikTok from being available in the United States, specifically the bill requires that Dance Byte, owner of the app, sell the company within the next six months for it to stay available in the States, according to CNBC. The bill will now go to the Senate and you know what, y'all? I really, truly believe the Senate is going to be a whole different ball game. 
I, I do. I don't think it's going to go through as smoothly in the Senate as it did in the House. That's just my opinion. Specifically, the bill requires that Dan Spite. Um, now, sell. Now, the owner did already come out and say they are not selling. They don't want to sell. So, you know, if it does shut down, they're talking about the millions of users. It, it, it leaves them high and dry, which uh, many black users might consider it just deserts. So anyway, remember the renegade, the dance that took over the world, and that was on TikTok, and it became the most popular on social media at one point. The creator, this was a black team from Atlanta who loved dancing on social media. And, you know, she has since been recognized for creating the viral dance, but it was not like that initially, you know. And <clears throat> I believe her name was Jalela Harmon. She's been recognized, but it took a lot for her to get the recognition that she deserved. Harmon was hoping that the comment section of other videos pleading for people to give her credit for the dance and others gaining clout, white creators gaining clout off of a dance that she created. But see, that was the kind of stuff that TikTok did. This is what they did. So in my opinion, they got a lot of nerve, them or anybody over on TikTok got a lot of nerve approaching black creators to have this loud voice for an app that just completely openly discriminated against the videos that black TikTok creators were putting out, you know, and in September of 2023, two black TikTok employees claimed in a lawsuit that they were fired after they complained about the racist behavior in the workplace. All right. And that story came out on NPR. One of the employees was the only black employee out of 40 who worked in North America and they were part of TikTok's sales team. She said during her first week on the job, she was patronized by her manager and that she was given more work than her white counterparts. She later learned that her supervisors would call her racial epithets behind her back and would often refer to her as a black snake. You know, those are similar complaints you have heard from Facebook employees and also Google. Same kind of complaints. It's really not any different. So there was another Black employee by the name of Joel Carter. He worked as a risk analyst. He said in the beginning, it seemed like it was fine. You know, he did not notice anything. But he said as time went on, his treatment started changing and says that he was treated worse than his white colleagues and that he was described as tense and angry. Okay, so what what is a person that's being discriminated supposed to act like? Smile and chipper and happy? Is that what we're supposed to ha act like when we're discriminated against? <laughs> Y'all got some weird expectations. That's all I got to say. So uh, both of these employees filed complaints with the company. It determined that there was no racial discrimination. Of course, they're going to determine that. If the people that are in management look like the perpetrators, of course, they're going to come to that conclusion. Uh, this is not shocking. So their complaints allegedly resulted in retaliation and they were both fired. We didn't forget about the allegations TikTok faced in the middle of the George Floyd protest. In the summer of 2020, many creators claim they were essentially silenced for posting content that supported Black Lives Matter. 
which resulted in their videos declining in viewership and engagement. Specifically, it appeared that posts that had hashtag Black Lives Matter and hashtag George Floyd in its caption received zero views. But if you inquire about these things, they swear up and down, there's no manipulation going on when it's very obvious it is. In May of 2020, Black TikTok engaged in a blackout in which users peacefully protested the censorship and racism of Black creators on the app. People who participated in the blackout changed their profile picture to a Black power fist and only liked and followed Black creators and created awareness videos in which they would bring attention to racism on the app. Although TikTok, uh, TikTok eventually apologized and promised to do better, in a lengthy statement, Black creators claimed that little, what you know, had changed, and and that's true. You know, little has changed, saying that they continued to see problems on race, according to NBC. Yeah, because if they got away with it all this time, they're going to continue to do it. Like I said, this is not limited to TikTok, this is on all social media platforms, all of them. Black creators getting banned on TikTok. There has been countless cases of Black creators on the app claiming that their accounts had been banned for reasons that do not make sense. Of the many and some users claim that they were banned after they received racist and threatening messages not the other way around. Like they were not making threats, they were receiving the threats. One user in particular told BuzzFeed News that his account triggered a ban due to the harassment and hate he was receiving from a white supremacist in 2021. Another, Many Parks, said her account was banned out of the blue around the same time saying, all I do is simply educate and respond to racism and hate. And a lot of people don't like that. So at the end of the day, should Black TikTok creators defend TikTok? I don't think so. You know, as long as none of these platforms will do right by us, I don't think we should be in support of them at all. I think this is another mind your own business moment for us. And that's exactly what I intend on doing. I'm not defending no TikTok or any platform that's not out here doing us right. So y'all, tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.